He is a man who shook hands with everyone, anywhere, anytime. Irrespective of age, gender, status, or situation, every meeting meant a handshake, every agreement called for one too. Even discontent ended up with a handshake. Dr. John Garang Dimabiol, a man of many faces, an expert in agricultural economics, a rebel leader to his adversaries, and a hero to his people. His vision is still going to be alive, and it will be even stronger. As the early way, New Sudan way. Born into a poor family in Wanglei village, Jonglei state in the Upper Nile region of Sudan, Garang's young life just like the civil war in Sudan was miserable. An orphan at a tender age of 10, a child soldier at the age of 17, joining the first Sudanese civil war in 1962. But he left the war to pursue an education earning scholarships in prestigious universities in Africa and beyond. At this point in time, he was an academician. However, 1983 brought a different side of Dr. John Garang de Mabior. When Sudan was brought to its knees by the Second Civil War in the early 1980s, Garang joined the rebel group Sudan's People Liberation Movement SPLA, to fight for the rights of southerners. As years went by, he rose to the rank of SPLA chief, winning the hearts of those he fought for and gaining vengeance on those he was against, in a war that resulted in over one and a half million deaths in just two decades. <laughs> a strong family man, deeply rooted in his traditions, as well as his beliefs. We will continue to defend ourselves. They were meet the people tours like this in Rumbek County that starred his popularity. <laughs> he flew higher, walked longer, and brokered harder for peace at home and in neighboring countries such as Kenya, where he took part in three years of talks, fighting in search of one thing, a new Sudan. The peace that we have brought is not our peace alone. It is peace for the Sudan it is peace for the region, and it is peace for Africa. On January 9, 2005, after eight protocols making up a comprehensive agreement, a new chapter, a new phase, and a new beginning for Sudan was established, Garang in the forefront at Nayo Stadium. Africa and the world celebrated a milestone that would possibly end decades of war in Sudan. Bringing the South and the North together for five years before a vote on the nation's future. This peace agreement therefore signals the beginning of Sudan's Second Republic of the New Sudan. Amid the celebrations, Dr. Garang, a quiet critical thinker, did not spare his reservations. If we cannot find an anchor in history, then we either create one for the first time a southerner held a high administrative position in Sudan, Garang was sworn in as vice president of Sudan in a power-sharing constitution with embattled Sudan's president Omar el-Bashir and when the celebrations were just beginning. And five, the year of peace. But it was also the year of sorrow. In July, the hero of southern Sudan died in a plane crash while returning home from a meeting in Rakitura in Uganda with longtime ally President Yoweri Museveni. This crushed the people of southern Sudan, tears of joy turning to this. Garang was dead, but not his vision. A man buried with promises to pursue a dream of peace, the same way he paid tribute to the heroes of southern Sudan. I salute and I pay tribute 
to our martyrs. It was his turn. Here is a man who had lived and fought for peace. With the SPLA deputy leader Salva Kir Mayardit fitting into Garang's shoes. Just as the world focused on Dr. John Garang Dimabior's life, the whole world is now watching Southern Sudan for a possible birth of Africa's youngest nation. Judicos Gay, KTN.